Um, hello. Um, I have some more computer tips, and um, this program it it cleans all your browsing history. Um, you can change startup programs. It's it's a really good program. Um, so I recommend you download it. I'll post this link in the description. Um, just click download latest version, and it'll come up and it'll just ask you to save the file. I've already downloaded it, so I really don't need to install it. Um, it'll lead you through an installer. You just click next on everything. And so, one, so once it's installed, you run the program, and it'll come up with something which looks like this. Um, just leave all the default things. Just leave them all ticked, and then click on the Applications tab at the side. Um, if you use Firefox, that will come up. If you use Google Chrome, that will come up. I'll just tick the download history, applications, internet, multimedia, utilities, and Windows. So, um, you've got all these boxes ticked. So, once done, you press Analyze. And it analyzes how much it can delete. Oh, uh, I need to just close Firefox while I'm doing this. And I did it yesterday. And it's come up that it can remove 129.6 megabytes off of my computer. So once this comes up, um, just make sure you ticked all the right boxes which you want. Press Run Cleaner. And after this, just click on OK. And that's it, it's removed 180 megabytes instead um, it also makes your internet quicker because it deletes all your cookies and the history and everything so that is the first week of this program the second thing it can do is find all the oh it can find all the missing shared DLLs um, this just means that it can scan for registry issues not many people know about registry but basically it runs your computer so I recommend not to mess about with it um, so once you're on the registry tab click scan for issues um, it might take a while to scan for the first time but it'll just come up with lots and lots of um, registry issues and just wait for it to scan basically Right then, so for me, it has only found four registry issues. Um, this ain't much, to be honest. The first time I ran it, I had about 300. Um, so, yeah, you'll probably get the same. So, go to the bottom right and click Fix sele Selected Issues. It'll ask you if you want to bike changes to the registry. You just press No because you really don't need to. Um, you can press Fix Issue, but then it'll take you through every single registry file which is very boring and just press fake selected issues all of them and just click OK that just get, gets rid of them all and then press close that, that's the second thing this program is good for so after this click on tools um, from there you can run installers for programs and things like that so I could remove any program from a uh, Windows Media Player 11, Studio 12. Um, well, after this, you can remove programs, which is quite good. And there's like a startup tab. Um, this is when your computer is starting up, it loads up programs with it. So if you stop these programs from running up, the extra ones, which you don't need, then it runs a lot quicker. So, um,. As you can see, the ones in grey, I have disabled. Just click click on it, and simply just click disable. Um, if you're not sure what the programs are, I'll tell you there. That's MSN. That's MSN. So I'm going to leave them in, because I like signing on to MSN when I run my computer. CTF common, I'm not sure. 
Um, it's something to do with System 32 because you can see where it's located. So I just leave that, or you can just research it. Um, the next one, Google Update. I, d I don't want Google Update running because I don't care. Sony Ericsson PC Suite. Well, I never use that anyway. So yeah, Sigma Tel Audio. This is for my sound card. If I didn't run this, I would have no sound until I ran the program. So yeah, I could do with running that. The next two are my wireless configurations. Um, I would just I'm gonna leave these because I just like surfing the internet as soon as I load my computer up. Um, the next one is AVG and Zone Alarm and the Pinnacle Driver. This this one's for my capture card. Um, the rest of them I've disabled because I just don't need them on the start. For instance, this one's Adobe Gamma. I don't need that. Microsoft Office OneNote 2003. I never ever use it. Um, extended resource monitor. I don't use any other monitors, so I don't need to run that. Java update. I, d I, d I never run Java update, so why would I need it? Spy sweeper. This is just a spyware cleaner which I do not use, so I don't want it to start up. Um, iTunes. I don't want iTunes helper. DVD 43. I don't need that. And so what you do, you just click on it and simply just press disable. After this, you can enable it back, which I'm gonna, because I want that. Um, if you're not sure what the program is, just look what it's called, where my mouse is, ctfmon.exe. Just tap it in on Google, and it'll just simply come up with whatever it is. And this makes your computer run a lot quicker on the start. You can do it a different way, um, through uh, start and run. But I recommend this way because it's safer and it's easier. Um, and that's it really this is all the program does i think it's a really good program um, rate comment and subscribe and it frees up your memory it cleans your registry you can remove programs you can de disable programs and start up i think it's really good so yeah thanks for watching